one choo-choo train after the other of moisture coming through our area. This one's leaving. Is there more to come? Well, there could be more showers before the sun sets here this evening. And to Cherie's point, you know, some of those tornadoes up there were three quarters to almost a mile wide. So the damage paths were significantly large up there. Nothing like that around here today. In fact, the calendar says June, but it feels more like September. Let me show you what we're looking at. Some scattered showers, gusty showers, because occasionally they do kick the winds up to about 35, 40 miles an hour as they pass by. That's what we experienced over downtown. Most of those showers now have shifted their way off towards the south and east of the city, but you can see from around Alexandria and New Richmond, still a few showers up near Milford as well as Mount Repose heading over towards Goshen, the south side of Loveland. These showers do get heavier as you head out towards places like Bethel and Amersville as an example. Then you get out here towards Mount Orb and Fayetteville on into parts of Highland County. You've got some brief showers. The good news, they'll only last about 10, maybe 15 minutes in any one location, so it's not like an all evening rain event. And then a few more lingering sprinkles or showers up here north of Lebanon, back towards Mason, and then maybe a few more out there on the west side, Harrison over towards Miami Town. So we'll keep the risk for a passing shower through about 8, 830, after which skies will begin to clear, and it is going to turn chilly tonight. Temperatures are going to dip their way down into the 50s here during the evening hours. Do not get used to this taste of fall, though. We are still approaching summer. So right now, while it may be cool, it is going to turn a lot warmer and begin Begin to feel more like summer should by the weekend. Unfortunately, that also means for your Father's Day weekend, along with the warmer temperatures, muggier conditions, thus the threat for showers and thunderstorms to return. In fact, I think there's a good chance that a good number of you will see rain both on Saturday and on Father's Day itself. And in fact, on Sunday, some of those storms could be on the stronger side, so that will be something we'll need to watch for. You know, typically we get the heat, the humidity, then comes the storms. All right, talking temperatures here. We're into the mid 70s tomorrow, but then back into the 80s over the weekend heading into early next week. And as I alluded to, we've got frequent rain opportunities. In fact, I would not be at all surprised that between now and let's say maybe next Wednesday, a good number of you could easily pick up two, three, maybe four inches of rainfall, especially those of you that find yourselves in repeated rounds of heavy showers and storms. So here we are back downtown now. The showers have cruised their way through and now the sun's popping back out. Look at this down to 59. You don't expect to see this in the middle of the afternoon in June. That's just a testament to how chilly this air is on the hills of a pretty brisk northwest wind. Many of you are down into the 50s already north of the Ohio River. So yeah, it's going to be a chilly night. You're in the 60s with a little more sun to the south, but you're as low as 54 in Mount Healthy, 56 currently in Sharonville, double nickels in Hamilton and Mason. So the reason for the showers and the chilly weather, the storm center up along the south shores of Lake Erie, it pulls away tonight. High pressure builds in for tonight and tomorrow clears the skies out, provides us with sunshine. All right, showers begin to fade quickly by 8, 830. Then it's quiet the rest of the night. And then as we get into your Friday, no rain to have to worry about. Plenty of sunshine and blue skies for tomorrow. It looks like a fantastic Friday evening and night. But then just as quick by Saturday morning, showers are already moving back in. And I think we got scattered showers and storms Saturday afternoon. So fall like tonight, chilly down to 48 for an overnight low as those showers fade pretty quickly here the next few hours. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny and perfect. We're up into the mid 70s, still a little off from where we should be. Remember, we should be in the low 80s, but I'm going to take it tomorrow. Beautiful end to the work week. Here's your seven day forecast. Your weather impact icons are on there throughout the weekend. Again, I think Mike and Shree, there's a good chance most folks see rain. Each of those days there, Saturday and Sunday, and that continues on into Monday. And again, the potential is there not only for some strong storms over the weekend, but for some folks to pick up repeated rounds of very heavy rainfall. So it could be a busy weekend weather wise starting up Saturday and Sunday. Happy Father's Day on yeah. that note. <laughs> well, the shooting of baseball legend David.